Hey, 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 y'all. What is up? What is up? Welcome back to the Wheat Field. I hope y'all had a great old day. A really, really great day. I had a tiring day. It was challenging, but uh, you know how we talk about them tears and get encouraged and motivated earlier in the day. And then you know they coming at you, right? So you just have to be prepared and know. But it took everything, you know, all of my little energy and motivation to get through the day. You see, I done put my hair up. It's like this messy bump, whatever's going on. I got on the flannel. I look like a whole college student. I'm tired, you know, I feel like I've been studying for the MCAT over here. I don't know. But Spirit said that we had to follow up to this morning's message. And I don't know how long this reading, this session, talk, whatever you want to categorize it is. You know the spirit is flowing. You know how your girl get, you know. So at the end of this, if you like the vibe, subscribe. Just stick around. You know what I mean? It's like frying fish around here. It take a minute for the oil to heat up. But once it's going, you know, we, be, we get to cooking, you know. So just hang out. And see how this thing come together here. All right. So we was talking this morning about the law of detachment, right? And how that leads us into the spirit, the infinite intelligence has its way with uncertainty, right? All of those things that we don't know that are in the unknown that makes us have hesitation and trepidation pull back and pause right because it's not according to the plan plan that we have affixed and attached ourselves to so the law of detachment in this book read go back and look at that reading it's about an hour long put it on when you are getting ready for the bath or something and just relax or when you cooking dinner and just let it play in the background you know it's one of those things you can just kind of listen to but anywho we were talking about spirit was telling us that uh the infinite intelligence factors in uncertainty and that is another attribute of wisdom of intelligence itself because if we know everything then we wouldn't most likely do the things that we need to do so that the grand design itself can play out again all things onto the source and to the most high god that called us all and we are participants in this grand design as pixels and pieces of source itself so source is potentiating itself through you it is expressing itself through you that's why it's important for you to go ahead on and be your whole unique except uh, expression yeah because source itself is experiencing itself as you through you you surrender this vessel onto the source now source experiences everything through you my weed i mean it's not uh you know it's 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 really that easy. so when we say spirit what would you like to eat today oh yes spirit of joy says yes i would like to have what did we say we wanted today spirit of joy said we wanted a turkey breast with some seasonings and some dressing and some mash I mean gravy with some mashed potatoes and some steamed broccoli and that's what we did yes put that right on in the pressure cooker with the broccoli on top when it was about done get that last little steam and all that seasoning from the turkey and the gravy all up in that broccoli oh yes and then some mashed potatoes and some whipping cream oh you talking about good put some rosemary up in there Ooh. Yes, some good feel good spices gone, Brandon and Destiny. He be killing me with them shoulders. He got me doing it. Anywho, I got to quit watching them, y'all. That's about stuck. But they funny. They hilarious to me. And it's so good to see that expressions of love. You know, yes, I love it. Anywho, y'all. So, the source itself experiences itself through you. Every time you surrender and say, and not just doing you, you know, what your first conscious mind is saying because you're not tapped into that soul space and really checking in with those spirit guys on the inside of the kingdom before you move. Like you out there. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, we be out here on a permit, you know, operating a vessel on a permit when 
the spirit, the intelligent is the one with the operator's license. Like your highest self, your highest spirit, they're the ones with the operator's license. They are licensed to command the vessel. But we in our conscious mind, our waking mind, be like, oh, we got this on a learner's permit. We learning through this here thing. And we, 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 we be acting like we don't want to yield to the spirit, to the one that's supposed to be. You know how they got that student drive on the top of the car. You know, sometimes that's how we... Just saying. Anywho, spirit get to drive in your vessel. This spirit gets to experience life through you. Yes, easy, right? So here we go. The first spiritual law of success is the law of pure potentiality. Yes. We're going to show it again. Seven spiritual laws of success. And this is by Deepak Chakra. Right? See if y'all. Here's his name. There you go. Get it off of Amazon. I think it's like seven, eight bucks. But it'll be the best seven, eight bucks. I'm talking about it pays dividends. Your ROI, your rate of return on this here, baby. What? Come on now. Because just chapter one, that first line telling you that the first spiritual law of success is the law of pure potentiality what we was talking about spiritual laws right the old law oh yes let's dig on into it the first spiritual law of success is the law of pure potentiality spirit just wanted to read that one more time like how we did that yes this law is based on the fact that we are in our essential state pure consciousness pure consciousness we talk about that all the time that consciousness that process right here that says it commands all it formulates it's collective right that's how we all share the same reality it's because it is a collective consciousness we come from a collective source and everything in source is collective we can tap into it we may not know how to tap into all of that intelligence but it's there the ability to do it the potential to do it is there and you are a big ball of pure potentiality so again we can break it down into science like when your chromosomes combinate and recombinate and all that stuff or just combinate for the sake of the seed and the egg the cosmic egg the cosmic source the primordial water that holds all of opportunity for creation the seed that comes in sees that those two working together can't have it without the other right so you have that combination and all that source material in your dna and chromosomes and stuff starts to come together and combinate and the ability to express in that combination is infinite i mean like you could have a baby that we was i was just talking about this with a, a beloved and we were just talking about the fact that you could have a child and i mean two children that look exactly i mean like they got the same parents and they don't look too nothing alike because one then pulled back from here and the other seed pulled back from there. I mean the that combination mixture came from pulled this and combinated and this one pulled and combinated and it's just a variety. So the uh, potentiality just in that you can see is immense. Like I I mean So let's move on. Pure conscious is pure potentiality. It is the field of all possibilities in infinite creativity. Pure consciousness is our spiritual essence. What is your spiritual essence, pray tell? Ooh, it is pure consciousness. Ooh. Now, we also can tie in recognition with that, right? So, when we acknowledge what we are at our essence and where things are like we comes into consciousness Ooh, then you can do something else that's another one where we did gonna touch the tab it like we little, little taste intention and desire from a place of consciousness who come on here wait let's get it okay being infinite and unbounded is also pure joy. <gasps> Don't we talk about that spirit of joy all the time? Why is that, pray tell? Keep going. Come on now. It is also pure joy. Other attributes of consciousness are pure knowledge, infinite silence, perfect balance, invincibility, simplicity, and bliss. Woo! 
this is our essential nature our essential nature is one of pure potentiality oh yes and when you discover your essential nature and know who you really are oh beloved why is that old proverb of know thyself so important Ooh, let me come closer come closer set for a spell when you discover your essential nature and know who you really are and that knowing itself is the ability to fulfill any dream you have because you are the eternal possibility the immeasurable potential of all that was all that is and all that will be come on spirit to tell your weak what they are tell them they essence Woo, spirit you're gonna rustle the field today you better not do it yes you do go on and do it spirit come on and do it Woo. there is no separation between you and this field of energy i gotta back up the law of potentiality could also be called the law of unity. Had to say that. The law of potentiality could also be called the law of unity. They are the same. Potentiality and unity go hand in hand. And why are we? did we have to say that, pray tell spirit? Because we talked about the law of detachment and separatism within self. Coming together with the whole self. Not judging yourself weak. Yes, why? that is why it is so important to understand all of the attributes of you and why intention and desire is so important, right? We were talking about not calling things low vibrational, high vibrational, but it's all about what it is that you were trying to accomplish, right? Are you looking to subdue others and dominate other wheat for the sake of gain only onto self with no giving onto other selves or source itself? Like, is it only to hoard the resources while you hurt and harm others and that is the effect? Or are you intentionally desiring to uplift self for the benefit and edification of yourself and onto source or benefit and education greater is to edify self edify others so that we all in unity can edify source who yes that's what the mission of this is because we need to understand that we are the wheat and we as the wheat feel that field of pure potentiality is what needs to be called it is going to be called for good bread but it is all about our intention, our desire. What are we desiring, my we? And how do we get that? How do we potentiate it? How do we manifest it? First, the law of unity. Coming together with self. And when you can do that, you can come together with others. Because you only can come together and love another wheat as much as you love self, truly. You can forgive when you can forgive you. If you are the last person to forgive you, have you truly forgiven others? Or do you get stuck in that cycle of bringing it up and letting it go and bringing it up? And yeah, because you haven't forgiven. You haven't mastered the ability to forgive you. Right? And, and, and we can create problems like that. So coming together with self, the law of unity, because the underlying because underlying the infinite diversity of life again the immense variety underlying the infinite diversity of life is the unity of one all pervasive spirit because underlying the infinite diversity of life of creation itself is the unity of one all pervasive spirit there is no separation between you and this field of energy the source you cannot be separated from the source absolutely not you are a pixel of the source to think that you are outside of source is is, is just impossible you cannot be that is the impossible to be outside of source and however you see source is just however you see it if you recognize it as a it just the is okay that's that's perfectly fine there's no judgment attached to that 
if you recognize it as something that's testable and you can see it and touch it and 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 and, and replicate those results you can see those principles operate in there yes you can you can see intelligence and unity and creation and acceptance of self and surrenderance to the is in that source is everywhere and it speaks to you everywhere it is consistent okay and there is no separation between you and it that is why being alone is a fallacy you're connected to everything and everything is connected to you we are all connected but the realize the thought that we are separated or that you are alone causes the distortion and the conflict between us in the chaos internally of the the depression and the anxiety right the sadness and the inability to move through emotional phases like grief right to release the trauma and and to use the tears of of our tests and traumas and hurts as material as we continue to have animation, right, we have the potential purely to rise above just by accepting the is with no judgment attached, but just realizing and, and being in the truth. This little lip gloss is like used all up, but it's one of my favorites, so I'm going to have to do that. Excuse me, y'all. So, yeah. The field of pure potentiality is your own self. Again, that's your true essence. Pure potentiality. Because, again, we always talk about you can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. It's potential, right? It's pure potentiality. It is all about, at the end of the day, your intention and desire, your giving and receiving your commitment devotion onto that thing and serving it and in and, and, and moving in a way that is attached to the results right it it, it it shall come to be it shall come to pass spirit says yes um is there anything else to say yes where should you like to go where in object Oh, our thinking and our behaviors are always in anticipation of a response. So Spirit is saying that we are expecting a certain type of response. And whatever response we are expecting or anticipating, it makes you scared. Yeah, it is fear-based. We are always uh, feeling an intense need to control things. And we feel an intense need for external, ex, Spirit called me back to the struggle of the internal and external powers. So external representing the flesh, the outside, right? Conformity is what I was feeling. Conformity. The internal represents the spirit and its pure potential potentiality so the internal internal is the spirit the pure potentiality and that power dynamic that which is and knows is calling you to remember it remembers right but then there is the external spirit says which is the flesh that thinks so because there's a difference between what we think and what we know and source the internal spirit is what knows although we externally think we need to go inside spirit says to gain the knowledge in order so that we can truly speak speak out what it is 
that has been revealed onto us from the source coming into the crown discerned in the heart space is it resting discerning in the spirit testing listening oh surrenderance yes yeah, surrender in the spirit on to the most high God of creation. The most high God of creation. The all. The all. The one who sits above. Is there anything else in this text? No. Where would we like to go now? Is that it? All right, angel answers. Here we go. Let's get the deck, y'all. Spirit says, angel answers. So, you guys heard the message. We have prayed over the table. We've cleansed the cards. We've got some crystal energy here. And spirit, we've been talking about pure potentiality and how your wheat, it is essence is pure consciousness right and the ability to potentiate we have a conflict internally and externally conformities um, cause us to have this conflict but 